recording while um, visiting Google Chrome because, oops, uh, actually, um, oh gosh, um, a movie maker will have it maybe. Um, still recording so far. I forgot I closed the email. Oh, hang on. I'll just go to my junk mail again. I think that's still, um, uh, okay, so here we go. Um, so I'm just doing a quick video today. I've got um, uh, some appoint doctor appointments to try and chase up and stuff and um, I've not eaten anything yet. I've just had a drink of water. Um, uh, it's 11.53 a.m. and the 10th of February 2018 for our historical record. Um, I didn't sleep too well but I slept better than um, much much you know because last time I did not get to sleep until about 6 or 5 a.m. so I um, managed to sort of catch up on sleep but I'm still feeling a bit funny and um, uh, but you know it's heading for Sunday so hopefully Sunday I'll be able to relax a bit so um, I hope uh, well I know you may be living in a different time zone and different lifestyles and stuff but I hope um, you'll be able to have a um, some sort of um, Sunday whether it's on Saturday or Sunday or, or even a weekday and um, I hope you can have a Sunday to um, relax of some sort of uh, some sort of Sunday to relax on um, um, so I'm, ju I'm just going to do some uh, a light video today because I, I you know when you get spam mail uh, on, the, on the one hand it's so annoying and on the other hand it's quite comical sometimes um so I was it's obviously it's part to raise awareness for those who could be in danger of being scammed but also it's for us to laugh out um how ridiculous their scams are and um but yeah so hopefully if I can raise awareness for anyone I know some of you are too familiar but you know um not everyone's familiar and some people are new to the the internet and um there's different trends like for example I'm I was I'm sure that I've recently started um receiving my Amazon based um scams obviously that's worrying because um I did I did a particular like um saga of buying uh, you know I had some spare money so I was uh, buying important supplies and stuff on Amazon fairly regularly um or something I don't know what it was um but um the point being that's worrying of course that maybe they hacked my Amazon account so um, I kept changing my password but um they still came so maybe they maybe they hacked once and you know they're keeping a trend of Amazon emails to try and seduce me but um uh, the, the Amazon emails have been you know th thankfully they've been very fake and um obviously they're inconsistent you know if they say you purchased something and your last purchase was even just half an hour ago that's you know a big slip ups so it's hard for them to time right but you know maybe you forgot or that you think an email came late that seems genuine from Amazon um, so you do have to be careful of course but um, the Amazon ones I've received seem a bit um, you know a bit amateur to be honest um, so that's good that works in our favour um, so I'm going to look out um, hope it doesn't stop recording oh, it's behaving well so far okay so I've offer all C oh okay SEO packages this isn't a scam as such it's um uh, well, it could be, but I mean, I think it's um, you know, unsolicited marketing because um, they found my details from a domain I purchased. So I'm go I'm going to block them all the same because um, oh gosh, they're so annoying. Oh wait, wait, I think that other one is um, that Philip Nelson one may be a scam. So I'll just block the um SEO one first. Okay, now I've got confidential. Yeah, this is good. Hello, please. I have something very important to tell you. It is a mutual and beneficial transaction. I will give you my clarification and my details upon your response. What the hell? Regards, Nelson. And now look at his email address. Um, a G D H J K. Sorry, J G K at AOL dot com. Uh, they they have fun with their email addresses. Presumably they're not physically typed now. Instead they have some sort of bot, I presume. That's randomly um because there's so many that are in use, it'd be hard for them to keep going through um you know because scammers aren't one big um collective. There's multiple like uh, tribes of scammers, if you will. So um they might not know what um competitors, so to speak, have done. So um presumably they have a bot of some kind. I guess that signs up and and keeps trying until it gets someone so we'll block him so we will block him what good it will do we'll have to see um, um and uh then we have oh it's still recording just checking lose weight with the mayo clinic diet two week free trial so this is also very dangerous of course because um preying on people's insecurities and stuff they're very um low life these scammers um just trying to make a few bucks by damaging people's minds um if you do not want to receive our content anymore, click unsubscribe. 
trying to um, uh, ruin people's psychology, all just so they can, they can make a few bucks. Um, newsletter at gunplan.nl. Uh, NL is that, that's Netherlands, so um, uh, they're um, thingy, but it doesn't matter anyway. The scammers could be anywhere, and it doesn't really um, or block them anyway. Um, it's been blocked partly by um, Outlook. It says now it says opt out here now that's obviously if you click on that from a scammer you know that that's something you should always avoid because that confirms your email address and there could be viruses or a phishing attempt to lead you to a dodgy website so um if if you're ever suspicious about someone saying I'm unsub unsubscribe and you're sure you never subscribe sometimes it's genuine companies or a friend or someone else pulled a prank maybe and signed you up to something or that somebody incorrectly entered their email of course that can happen but aside from that um, you know if you're suspicious you never subscribe be very careful about clicking on subscribe and at the very least try and find the website not through a um, email link but try and find it um, uh, separately and research the website that's just my personal advice um. Okay, next we have Stephen Hawking, uh, not Stephen Hawkins. Um, are you drowning in debt? Are you up to your eyeballs in debt? Am I? And see, there we've got the classic uh, red. Um, well, we've got a few things here. Oh, wow, wow, there's a lot going on here. Um, okay, um, I'll, I'll take a screenshot of this particular email so I can show you so you, so you have a clue of what I'm uh, banging on about. Um, uh, what I'm going on about. Um, I hope, hopefully, it won't stop film, stop um, recording my voice. Let me just open up and share. Yep, it's still recording. Oh, so well behaved, Windows. Well done. It's unlike you. It's a bit unnerving to be honest. Um, but okay, so we've got a lot going on here. Firstly, we've got you know Stephen Hawking, just a random name. That 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 email address. Wow, that's 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 an award. That's that's today's award for um uh email addresses for scam email addresses. Not why we've got them um, in the, the um the brackets of sorts. <laughs> well, we've got a long long string. Um. 99f41db73 etc etc at I mean and the, the the actual supposed email address is just as ridiculous almost um manhell.hydrantsdecision.com sometimes I try to mimic real websites so maybe there's a hydrant decision site so um, be careful there could be a genuine company but um as in these of course are not but um they they may be trying to um you know act as imposter trying them. Um, uh, try and lull you into a full sense of security. They're doing a they're doing a bloody bad job, to be honest. Um, okay, so um, we have uh, this message was sent with high importance. That's a classic scammer trick. Um, this message was identified as spam. Well, when Hotmail does that, that's not always good. Sometimes they get it right, but often um, they, they mark anything as spam. And I've I've been noticing their trends. Often it is when um, a high volume comes in, which again, you know, that could be trying an intelligent measure, you could say. But sometimes due to different psychological issues, and uh, say I'm on Google Chrome on my mobile, um, because it's hard to you know. Get the uh, it's hard to stop there's no hard drive there's it's not my main hard drive there's a memory system of sorts but ideally I want to send the website or whatever I've been typing into Google to re to remind myself of sometime later I'll save all of those Google links and other sites in uh, in my email basically by sending them to, to my I could send them save them as a draft I guess but I end up usually sending them to myself and so often it will mark my own email address as spam after or well not actually as spam but it will go to junk mail and then um, this lady started sending me um some sort of um uh what would what you call that some you know a product she's selling on her website and she started she just wouldn't stop so i had to block the um address um uh, she just there's no like, easy way to subscribe i don't think um but anyway um uh, she started sending me a long string and so they quickly went into junk so time is an issue with outlook if you get if you get a certain amount from the same user in a um uh, Pacific sort of time frame they tend to see it as junk and you know that there could be a sort of intelligent measure on their behalf you could say but they can get it wrong and so that in that way it's good that they manage to block the ones where you get only one from one email address because all of these these are they change their email address every day or at least the email address they claim to be having because I know they can spoof and stuff but um 
Okay, so now they often scammers always do this att 0001txt It's always that name, so presumably they're using some sort of same software that just um I don't know. But anyway, 65 kilobytes. Obviously, n in no circumstances download that you, unless you want your files to be deleted. You know, assume the worst. Assume anything precious um would be a compromise. In fact, I'm uneasy just looking at this email and knowing this. So there's a oh yeah, there's an actual link. Are you up to your eyeball or eyeballs in depth? Don't even click on that. I might carefully right click and no, there's no um oh you can inspect on Google Chrome. Um should we do inspect? That doesn't open it, I don't think. Um it open it opens up like a chart. Here we go, it inspect elements. Um Hello? Are you the oh nothing's coming up. Um or is it still loading? Console sources network elements here we go right um no it doesn't give any clue about the url it wishes to take oh wait hang, hang on okay it does it does it wants to take you to emblemont.com redirect html and then gibberish 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 um so yeah so then you can inspect what's going on um so anyway obviously we're not going to open that in any um circumstances so we'll block that for what good it may do um he'll, uh, he'll have he or she will have a new email address by him tomorrow if not already um and then we've got Eric Carnhart, surging levels of testosterone, no matter your age. Well, I was not aware I had a problem with te testosterone, but, uh, you know, you know what, do, what do we know? Scammers know all about our lives. Um, uh, they're usually trying to flog us Viagra, um, today's testosterone. So um, more testosterone than a raging bull, okay. Um, and his email just is just as, you know, um, silly and... Um, uh, immature at comsan.rayodin.com in a long string of numbers before and again yeah, here we go a double t zero 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 one dot text and it's the same allegedly what it's claiming 65 kilobytes again i think that size is provided by outlook so it might be accurate um so we'll block him okay so that's today's spam watch done um uh so i have some now that i've got rid of the spam is it's time uh, to do some work, something that these scammers need to um try and um discover um the concept of work um so yeah um so you will notice scams scams spammers whatever can be quite repetitive which obviously works in our favour um as long if you manage to you know d um work out the trend as long as you're not taken in by it as like if you can work it out then that can give a significant clue for future ones so be careful obviously it's not your fault if you get scammed by anyone these people are trying to um uh, scam and it, it's their it's their fault when people lose money and um, it's not your fault if you lose money um but um vigilance is of obviously good so if you can then be aware be careful and um uh, share if you notice any new trend uh, if you notice any new trends from scammers please by all means share and i will see you later